Aloha, Mike Marischal with runabettercompany.com. Quick video to demo uh, browser tip number five from our QuickBooks Online Tips Cheat Sheet. I call this one uh, Bookmark Your Favorites. Uh, if you'd like a copy of the cheat sheet, there should be a post or link below that'll get you access. Or uh, you can email me at mike at runabettercompany.com. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get started. Uh, log into your uh, QBO company. Um, here I've already opened up uh, my Chrome user Mike. Uh, clever name, eh? Mike. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I've got several, several favorites from QuickBooks, uh, the, from the login to uh, reports, balance sheet, and check. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'll delete all these. And then we'll reset them up once we've got the company open. Delete. I am going to leave QuickBooks login uh, up because I want to log in. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's my, this is Horizon Landscape. This is my sample company that I use for uh, these trainings. So it is a. Uh, a make-believe company, but it's full, uh, fully populated. It took the time. Anyway, um, and that, so I went ahead and deleted all those. Sorry for the pause. I lost my spot. And so we're going to go ahead and let's reset them up. Let's start with reports. So let's grab reports up to the new tab. And then we'll bookmark it. I always like to be have quick access to reports, so we'll bookmark it. Got to rename it. Let's capitalize there. Reports. Done. Uh, I also like to ha have access to my balance sheet all the time, so let's drop the drag and drop the balance sheet up. Let's bookmark it. Balance sheet. Oops. Done. And as you can see here, that's what's happening. We've got it's starting to populate it. Let's go back to our reports menu. We're going to do the same thing to get the profit and loss. I'm always wanting to look at that. Let's drop it in on the new tab. Bookmark it. Um, I also, whoops. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I think we just separated. Uh, we add them back in here. So there's my reports. We're now in different orders, but make it back the same order. There's a dashboard, reports, balance sheet, profit and loss, and we're going to let's add uh, chart of accounts. We get to grab that out of the gear icon. There's chart of accounts. Grab that up. Drop it in. And we don't, and we'll bookmark it. We don't have to label it because it's already nicely labeled. And then we'll do one more. Let's, uh, somebody's always walking in. I'm needing to have a write a check. Isn't that the case usually? So in the create menu, I'll grab check, drop it up there. So if we go over. There's a check. So oh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need to bookmark it check it's labeled accordingly as well so if we look at our now if we look at a new tab there we've got all there's QuickBooks the original QuickBooks login reports balance sheet profit and loss chart of accounts check and we can get to every one of those let's close them close it close it let's leave the data there's the dashboard leave the dashboard open and then from the new tab you can get to all these other places very easily. Open it up. Write a check. And that's all there is to it. On to the next tip video. Au revoir.